Folks, and here we are now, the episode where we might very well be betraying Portugal, sorry, Galiza itself with Portugal. We have talked so much about the history of this region, we have talked about the influence of religion, the influence of course of the way of Saint uh, Jacob itself and so on and so forth. There is a lot going on here, it's a super cool thing to do. But we are nearing the end here because I will be back from Sweden sooner rather than later and that means that we are going to do fresh content that isn't pre-recorded. So let me just finish it off here sometimes. Uh, hopefully today what we can do is build the cathedral, right? That's the big goal. We have the Bell of Santiago and become the King of Portugal. I It will be terrible because, well, effectively I am betraying my overlord who is like an okay guy, nothing wrong with him, right? But basically we're just doing this and I think the de jure will be like very, very boring. If I take a look at this right here, right, what, what do we get here actually? We get blah, 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 okay, we will get all of this, uh, adopts the every Espano uh, heritage subject in your Portuguese realm. Oh, that's a lot, so Portugal would actually be huge here. Interesting. Um, every Espano heritage county also changes to Portugal. Interesting. So the more I conquer, the more will span uh, Spain just not exist. That is interesting. Certainly an interesting thing. Um, what are we going to do? For the time being is we're gonna just start out we're gonna have some wars we're gonna get some glory we're gonna make sure that everybody else around us is defeated and then we go from there i think uh, that is where we currently are obviously i don't want to run out of money here i want to build that uh, santiago cathedral right but other than that i'm just yeah i think we're golden i'm gonna sell this guy sure it is what it is not my problem let's start conquering a bit the most important part is now that we gather more prestige because i will need more prestige let me take a look at this right forming portugal it requires me to be illustrious or above, so that is very important indeed. Uh, let's clean up the Iberian Peninsula at least a little bit. Oh, and already a new pope. Uh, <laughs> huh, this pope ain't looking too good. He is scaly. Hello, Benedict. How you doing, pal? <laughs> that's kind of funny looking. Oh, they actually took it. Oh, man, that sucks so bad. I, I don't like that. Uh, welcome, by the way. We're going to marry you, obviously. Uh, she's going to be married to Guyana. We're doing great. I, I think we're having, a, we're having a really good time here. We're very much marrying into France rather than into the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, nothing here happening in the southeast. This one and France itself, very friendly with us and very much married to us to a decent degree. Oh, and look at that. My castle here is done, which means I can just hand it out. There you go. Gorgeous. Right, now let me look at this. It looks pretty good. Can I do this? Um, I would have to call in some allies, which we definitely have now at this point, but I would prefer if I just didn't have to do that, right? That would be great. It would be really good. I'm going to claim this. That looks good. Then we're going to be a straight, still like Portugal, straight through Iberia, just down there. That is us, and uh, we will look pretty good. Oh, they are bankrupt as all hell, huh? Uh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's go to war here immediately. Let's defeat them. Let's collect some prestige, if we may, here as we wage this war. But I feel like this at this point is pretty much a self-runner, right? Shouldn't be too complex. Uh, how are we doing here still? Yeah, we're looking okay, maybe. I'm actually gonna call in somebody, somebody small. Yeah, you, you look okay. Are you at war? Nope, okay. Come in, have a good time. Let's do this. Oh, and they're actually hosting a grand tournament in Cordoba. Ah, if only they weren't enemies, right? <laughs> that would be pretty good. Oh, and this was a fast war. I immediately captured him and he's cooked. Portugal, getting pretty big here. Getting pretty big indeed. I wonder what my wife is doing. We haven't had a kid in like ages. I mean, we had so many kids. I guess we're just too old. You know, <laughs> thinking about it now, I think we're just too old. How old are you, 38? She could technically still have kids. I'm 52 at this point, but not sure whether that is going to be happening. All right, let me check this. Can I just rush in here as well? We're very clearly superior. I'm... Listen, compromise, compromise, nothing to do with me, okay? I am conquering all the way to the Pillars of Hercules. I am going to take over Ishbilia proper. It will become Portuguese, no matter what you say, you hear me? Portugal must be greater yet. And there you go, all these battles just constantly won. I'm just wiping them here. Let's just make sure that they can't resist at all anymore. Every time they siege you, it could be a problem. You know, so just make sure that they're entirely gone. Ooh, and I actually do like that one. Um, let's start sieging. It is what it is. You cook, pal. Oh, and there you go. We captured him. It's over. My god, we are... Sometimes in this game, you can just keep going. Uh, by the way, what is what is this war then? Santa Maria Ibn Harun clash against Taifa of Ishbilia. Uh, Galicia is now the defender. Oh, I see what happened. Right, it... Took the war over, obviously, right? Because my overlord is now at war and in control of Ishbilia. 
So I'm just gonna wipe you. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you a bit of a lesson, my friend. And I'm of course gonna accept this call to arms. It's also really funny that as you play this game, unless you're very accepting of different cultures, all you are doing is basically what Castilians did to like the Galicians and so on, where I'm like, yes, yes, I know this is technique and illusion, but I'm gonna put Galicians in, in, in front here. Yeah, it's, you know, that's just the way it is. We do now have too many vassals. We do now have too much land. That is just what happens if you are a perpetual duke. But I think that is okay. We are doing very, very well. I'm just gonna win this one. I might conquer the rest here, but after that, I think our conquerors, uh, conquest spree will be done. At least for a bit. Uh, what I care much, much more about... Ooh, is this button right here. Built over the tomb of James the Great. This splendid edifice is the endpoint of the Way of St. James. Oh, James, right, sorry. And the crown of one of the great sites of Christendom. Pilgrims from all over Western and Northern Europe arrive in large numbers, speaking do uh, dozens of tongues, though many become mute with awe. I shall build it. Only five years. Medieval cathedral builders. Why were you so bad at this? Why am I so good at this? Look at that, Persia still exists. They're still going, they're, they're, they're not doing great, but they are still going. My brother-in-law, have you heard what they call you? They call you Marquez Mien, spectacular. They don't, wait, that's just my name, brother. They call me the nickname, uh, the, the crusader, I mean. I assume that is because I have done a lot of holy wars. I'm a very holy person. I mean, we all know it to be true. It is what it is. All right, now let me take a look at this, right? What I want to do is to create titles. I want to create a ton of titles. The reason for this is it will give me prestige. And I need that prestige. I really, really do. Um, I'm going to create every title that I can afford whenever I can afford them. See, at this point, I'm just wondering, you think I should just go independent? Can I do that? Or do I have, like, a, a truce? Ah, uh, he's my ally. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to outright... I am such a good guy, though. The, the Pope loves paying me. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of money. Did you know this? Oh, and we have the first saint. It is Heinrich. Wow, he's actually a saint. See, uh, pretty impressive. You think I can become a saint? I'm almost a religious icon. I don't know. It looks, looks pretty good to me, if you ask me. Interesting. Very interesting indeed, actually. Oh, and that's a big one right here, folks. That is a big one. Our second-born son can be married to Duchess Constantia the Beautiful of Brittany. Football, my friends, is coming home. Since we're the same dynasty, it's so it's technically a cheat, okay? Don't get me wrong. But she is willing to say yes. Oh, and she immediately... <laughs> yeah, obviously, I'm coming in. It's okay, okay? But she is saying, hey, how's it looking? You want to come back home to Brittany? And my answer obviously is yes. Yes, I do. Let's help her. Oh? Wait, I can... I can consecrate my bloodline? High opinion, organized faith. I control one. I am a religious icon. Oh my god, I can consecrate my bloodline. You gain a legitimizing legend seed. You gain the uh, trade Paragon. Wow. You gain stress, because you're humble. And further increases by 25. That is unhinged. I'm gonna do this. Listen, sometimes you gotta eat it. Stress break. That's the first one for this character. This character has been so in sync with his own life. He'd never had one before that. And you know what? Uh, I think he can resist. I, I think we're I think we're okay. Um we're gonna we're gonna relax to some degree, right? Let's take a look at this first. The cost of restoring a rune is halved and additionally grants legitimacy. Can rebuild any destroyed rune. See, I just I'm literally not seeing any other ruins. Like, look at how big this is, right? Y you think you could see this somewhere. My god, where are the ruins? Is there one ruin in the game and it's that French one? <laughs> it's more likely than you might think. Nothing in Brittany either. Oh my god, is there actually just one ruin? There's nothing in Greece either. Where, where are all the ruins? Well, uh, no ruins for us. Maybe I will find it at a different playthrough. If I don't get canonized, by the way, I don't know what to tell you. Just doesn't make sense. Okay, that's all I know. I hate it so much, by the way, that they did not call for any more crusades. <laughs> they just went, ah, you know what? That's it. <laughs> I'm good. We we don't need to do that one again. <laughs> that just that just doesn't work for us, man. <laughs> that's so good. Uh, also, additionally, we are now very, very close to actually finishing the cathedral. You can also see that I have become pathetic. I'm going down the whole of body tree just so that we can actually make it here. 
right? I am waiting and waiting until I can actually go ahead and finish this. I would like to do it in this life. If I can't, then so be. I mean, it's not the worst in the world, right? But I mean, come on. And there you go. What? Why are you telling me about the boars? Oh, there is the cathedral. It's like, it's like in there though. No, it should. It should be like its own thing. Ah, okay, you know what? It's not, it's not the worst. I, I've seen considerably worse. Uh, I'm gonna, yep, synergize our friendship. That's okay. The cathedral has been built. And with that, I am a hero. We're making so much money. That is actually, that is a money printer right here if I've ever seen one. That is just three bucks plus 30% and so on. We might move the capital there eventually. But before we do that, let me just double check this here. How are we doing with the, with the temple? We have completed it. It's done. A visual representation would actually be the coolest thing ever. That's all I can say. I've built it up now as far as you can. Ah, oh, but there's nothing. That is that is kind of sad. That would be really, really awesome. Uh, we have built this. And I have really dealt with my art school. See, the, the one confusion that I have is just... Uh, is that is that all it does? I guess the ruins, right? And I just don't have any ruins. It's so... Oh, that is... Uh, that is... Honestly, I'm so tilted over no ruins. I just want a single ruin to see what it's like to explore it. That would be so awesome. I think like the Hindu Kush or something would have uh, some ruins, but absolutely nothing. You know what? I give up. Forget about the ruins. They never existed. I never cared for them in the first place. And look at that. They already have their first child. Wait a minute. Why are you the heir? What, what is the inheritance law here? Confederate petition. Are you not? Oh, that. Okay. It just needed time to reset. Don't worry about it. Oh, and I didn't know there was a cool decision here. Let's take a look at this. Alter the Shrine of Santiago. The current shrine to Santiago simply cannot accommodate the crowds of pilgrims to visit, uh, who visit it daily due to its small size and crude design. Church officials, feeling sympathy for the pilgrims, recommend we should uh, renovate and even destroy the tomb to St. James and rebuild a new one if needed. Huh. Oh my god, unlocks, if I do this, unlocks the decision to pray for Santiago's intercession for all Christian rulers in Iberia who meet the other requirements. The decision to support the way uh, of St. James and levy extra tolls on Santiago, pilgrims will give better boons, gain prestige. Okay, it's somewhat controversial, that's, that's fine. It's all positive, but okay. Santiago's importance as a holy city increased in the 12th century, which is now, thanks to its first archbishop, Diego Galmire. Uh, lived until 1140, so that's about right when we are. Among other things, he centralized ecclesiastical authority, promoted the pilgrimage to Santiago, and most controversially, altered the physical space of St. James' tomb by destroying the old shrine, said to have been built by St. James' disciples, and replacing it with a grander design that catered to the needs and desires of foreign pilgrims at the expense of locals' preferences and traditions. I will do this, yes. How can I, how can I not do this? That is, I like this. Every county in Galicia, um... It's just this region, right? It's just the, the proper Galicia. That's okay. Ah, come on. Uh, gains alteration to St. James. Uh, control goes down. Popular opinion. I really am betraying the Galicians. That's that's my that's my line here. I am I am Portuguese. I pray to the Portuguese, okay? Under the direction of Archbishop Alvaro, the altar housing St. James remains, along with the rest of the tomb, has been destroyed and redesigned to fit the Cathedral of Santiago and better accommodate the many pilgrims who visit it daily. Many locals have denounced our actions. The old tomb, while crude and cramped, was built by St. James' disciples, so they fear our actions are blasphemous, of, uh, an, a blasphemous act of desecration that will incur divine punishment. It is odd they don't realize our alterations actually honor St. James. Clearly, they are selfish and care more for themselves than helping the pilgrims. Curiously, the protesters come from all walks of life in Santiago, from peasants and merchants to petty nobles and priests. Rumor has it that some of them, despite coming from dis uh, disciplined groups who sometimes dislike each other, are uniting in a secret Germanitas, or brotherhood, to continue protesting my actions. Uh, I have altered the <laughs> I have altered the altar. Pray I don't alter it any further. They will eventually understand the bigger picture. It's not like they would... Yeah, okay. Nothing new here. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, and this is the general event when this happens, I see. Many welcome this change, but the locals do not. Right, so this tells all Christians now that I did this. Oh, I'm such a good Christian. All of you are so bad at this. I'm amazing at this. All right, now let me double check this, right? It said... Fortify the Galician coast. Oh my god, that is all what I... That is literally what I was talking about. I love, this is, I can tell this is rice, or Viet. Whenever it says historical context, it's Cybrex scan. I was talking about this. I was talking about how they, uh, uh, you know, basically started to solidify themselves after the initial raids. This is this exact thing. These are the Oeste Towers. Oh, I 
really like this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fortify it. Sure, gets this for twenty years. Okay, sure. I'm gonna spend this money. I'm gonna spend this prestige. Absolutely. I will make sure that we will never be raided, that the shrine is safe, that this can never repeat. The bells of Santiago are safe with me. All right, now wasn't there, there it is, there was a different decision. May, uh, May St. James the Great, the apostle of Jesus Christ and defender of Iberia, guide us in these uh, troubled times. I should pray for his intercession so that my lands, my family and the Christian community of Iberia can endure any threat and thrive. Santiago modifier, the effects of which depend on the current struggle phase of the Iberian struggle or which decision taken to end it. Uh, as an important holy figure in medieval Iberian Christendom, St. James or Santiago symbolized different things depending on contem uh, contemporary politics and culture. Oh, that is, I love Cybrexcan. That is exactly what it is. Not all things, not all saints, not all myths mean the same thing at all times. The same way the importance of the pilgrimage route waxes and wanes, so does the interpretation of what it is. For example, his earlier portrayal as James the Pilgrim was increasingly supplanted by his role as James the Warrior or the Moor Slayer in the late medieval period. In the New World, he was initially the Indian Slayer during the conquest of the Americas, but later became the Spaniard Slayer to revolutionaries in Latin America fighting Spanish rule in the 1800s. I love history so much. It's so fun. Isn't this, isn't this stuff fun? I mean, my god. Um, Armin. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me let me take a look at my counters here, right? How are we doing? What did we gain here? We gained great intercession. Hello. Intrigue plus three, disease resistance, health, small boost, piety, defend advantage plus six, and Christian opinion plus ten. Oh, I love being Galician. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Uh, who are we who are we fighting? This guy? Come on. Come on. Show some respect here in London. It's ridiculous. Oh! And now there's Jihad for Iconion. Okay, wait up. Oh, it's just the Shia Caliphate? You guys are unhinged. They're not gonna win. Come on. If they win that, okay, I'm gonna eat my own hat. Forget about it. If you're playing CK3, I'll be honest with you, you really have to play with uh, Cybrix Cans mods. They're just so good. Everything that I can keep yapping about is to some degree distilled into wherever he was. He's currently, and yes, this is me calling you out, he's currently working on a struggle in Sicily. I want to play it so bad. It's a, a really interesting struggle format. He basically says, you can open it, you can close it. You can uh, cement the struggle, but if you close it that way, you might have to reopen it later if there is still some dissonance between the different cultures and religions in Sicily. It's it's so, so interesting, and I need him to release that because I want to play the Normans. I want to play the Normans, or rather the Norsemen, go all the way down here to Normandy, right? This, okay, listen, spoilers, okay? If we do do a real roleplay series, we would start as Norsemen, we would go to Normandy, play the struggle there, then with that struggle, right, we would finish that struggle one way or another, we would become adventurers again, go down here, go to Sicily, do that struggle, maybe become, I don't know, the kings of Jerusalem thereafter, if crusades ever work. So, as you can see, I'm very, very eager uh, to do something here. Whether we're actually gonna do a roleplay series depends on a lot of factors, like for example, is it fun? These are the questions that keep us up at night as we finish the Temple of Praganza without owning even a single ruin. It is a sad, sad world. Yep. What did I tell you? <laughs> that did not work for you, pal. Alright, folks. Um, Once more into the breach, I suppose. I'm gonna reroute this one, though. Uh, we're gonna- we're gonna bring this one- We're gonna bring this one elsewhere. Can I do that? Uh, redirect- well, there we go. Let's- let's go Jerusalem, okay? Let's- <laughs> Let's see how this goes. It's gonna be so bad again. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why we try. I don't I don't even understand why why we try. It just doesn't <laughs> It just doesn't make sense, man. We're gonna be more, but we're all gonna show up separately and, and it's gonna be uh, truly horrendous. It's gonna be very bad. Who's joining? Do we have anybody that is cool? Uh, oh it's the overlord, okay. Um A lot of very tiny people, huh? I see some kings like uh, Hungary for example, but Okay, we'll see. It's my second crusade. Second time is the charm, right? That's what they say. That is, that is what they say. All right, let's find out. Let's find out what's going on in this sick world. <laughs> this is gonna, I'm gonna get fully wiped here. I can already tell. <laughs> let's do this. I will admit they're really trying. This AI is really trying, but they're never gonna, they're never gonna make it work. It, it just, it cannot happen. It's impossible. Where are you going? What? Are, no, where? <laughs> What are you doing? 
Why are you doing this to me? Why are they going back to Italy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just need this face to switch. I'm... Crusades are so cooked. They are so cooked. What is this? I hate life so much. Why am I... <laughs> He's holding me prisoner? No. The war is never gonna end, man. Oh, and how cool is this? But listen, I'm... There are alarming rumors from the Holy Set of Santiago about the secret Germanitas, or Brotherhood, pro uh, compromised of many members of the local Christian community. They come from all walks of society, including local priests, petty nobles, peasants, merchants, and many officials in the city council. They are fine with my rule, for now, but are in conflict with the city's Christian authorities. They claim the ecclesiastical officials are tyrants who ignore their legal rights and religious traditions in order to indulge the whims of foreign pilgrims. And this is like the whole... Uh, tourist conversation. The daring fools resist them in a number of ways, such as erecting palisades on church property to intimidate pilgrims. Though it happened years ago, the alteration of St. James' tomb is a sore point for them in particular. They still see it as a blasphemous act despite constant reassurances it was needed and approved by Christendom's highest religious authority. There is no doubt that Santiago supports us, not them. Tensions are rising. As long as the Christian authorities remain calm, surely nothing will happen. Okay, where's the next event where they do not indeed remain calm? I wish I wasn't a prisoner. That would be so cool. Oh, at least... Oh, no! Because they took that, they actually got rid of the war score basically being done. If they win this, if they just take this, we're good. Yeah, it's whatever, bro. Yeah, and here you go. The the crusade is... uh, It's cooked. Uh, sometimes I hate life. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. There we have it. Opportunity has come around. And you know what that means. Once I have the money and I'm not at war, we're going to do it. We're going to get it done. Uh, give me gold. Thank you very much. Now we just need this war to end. Maybe I should even support them. But I think they got it. I, I think they're good. I'm not even going to raise my troops. We're cool. We're golden. Ah. Oh. And there it is, the uprising. Terrible news. The Brotherhood in Santiago has led the Christian people of the city to raise their flag in rebellion, not so much against me, but against the ecclesias ecclesiastical authorities. The rioters have taken to the street, chasing out the pilgrims they despise and storming the city's cathedral, wrecking it as they see fit. The deluded fools claim because the cathedral was desecrated when the altar of St. James was altered, so the place no longer has a right to be considered sacred. At the moment, this mob controls the cathedral and the city, since most of the city's guards have taken their side. I cannot act rashly, since the city's leaders still respect my authority. Just not that of the ecclesiastical authorities. Right. Uh, he could be wounded, he could be maimed, he could be killed. I have a stress break. Uh, yep, that is my life. Chaos in Santiago. Pilgrims traveling from Santiago are spreading news of an uprising that just occurred in the city. Locals banded together in an unusual show of unity to stage an uprising against the Christian ecclesiastical authorities. I assume yeah, this is the, the event that the world gets, basically. The 1116-1117 uprising in Santiago was an attempt to oust the city's first archbishop, Diego Galmiris, the culmination of years of local resentment against clerical authorities. When Galmiris first came to power as bishop in 1100, he focused on centralizing ecclesiastical control and making the city a major center of pilgrimage. For instance, he enforced stricter rules on local clergy and curtailed many locals' rights, in their views at least, in favor of the pilgrims, in particular his renovation of the tomb. Right, that's so interesting. Uh, he was chased by a mob into the cathedral's bell tower, which, set, which they set on fire. He managed to escape, and after the rebellion's failure, he remained in power in Santiago. He would continue his program of expanding the cathedral and encouraging further pilgrimage, but ultimately did not resolve the root issues of tensions with the locals. A more short-lived second rebellion appeared in 1136. It, too, resulted in no lasting changes. That is cool. We just went through hell like they did historically. How awesome is that? Oh, and apparently, because the crusade failed, we get more nerds. <laughs> we get no more nerds in Barcelona. Oh well, the war at least is won, and you know what that means. Portugal, my friends, has been formed. Now our time begins. These all become de jure. I get the title, we become Portuguese. Let us see the court. And maybe let's put some stuff down. The arm of St. George. Why wouldn't we? My dynasty banner. How about my house banner? There you go. What else do we got? We got excellent law and ordinance. Right. They didn't want to take that. And now Galicia and Portugal are split. Although, well, we're really the only kingdom that still exists. Look at how much money we're making. We're doing well. Uh, we're not coronated yet. I don't think that that is something that we really care about to do in this particular series right now. Um... 
Obviously, we can't really declare that anymore. Let me see. Is there anything else that may make me do one more episode? I don't think there is. I, I think we're I think we're golden. I, I think we're okay. At most, obviously, I would, like, take Alisa, you know, at some point. But can't say I care about that right now. We have cemented a kingdom right here. We have pushed back all our enemies. Um, we have some legend seeds, of course, but that's not really too relevant. Let me ask you about this culture. Portuguese. Right, okay, so this is all that has become Portuguese. Interesting. I would have really assumed that Leonis and such, I guess this was only for the de Jure kingdom where it would flip. I thought all of these would also flip. Uh, did my vassals? Oh, they're all Galego. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> okay, that's... That's pretty silly, okay? Either way, we're not going to continue this anyway. I just wanted to explore Santiago. I wanted to explore the history of Galicia. And then I betrayed them, of course, subsequently. We are 72 years old. We have achieved so much here in under 100 years. 74 years to be exact. And I will leave you right here. Like I said, you've heard my vision for the eventual roleplay playthrough. I'll be back and I'll tell you about Roads to Power if I legally can. We'll see about that, okay? If they even tell me anything about it. <laughs> I'll leave you right here and I'll see you later. Alligator.